Sorry to disturb you. We just received word from North Precinct. A severely injured person was just admitted to the hospital. Um, she was struck in the head, and because of the similarities with the other attacks, they'd like to go over your report, just in case. Are you awake? You gave us quite a scare. Hmm? He was here. Little slugger. Amnesia? Can you imagine? It's Hirokawa's daughter. Poor girl. What about Tsukiko Sagi? <laughs> Little slugger. <laughs> Maybe that fainting fit was just an act, too. <laughs> about Hirokawa's daughter? I already got the guy. What are you thinking? Are you trying to tell me there's another wacko like Kozika out there? Or maybe... At any rate, the girls got amnesia, and there weren't any witnesses, so there's nothing to go on. Besides, this is North Precinct's case. Looks like we can close the book on this one. Anyway, we've breached the outer moat. Now it's onto the castle wall. Let's go.
times do I have to tell you? I'm a holy warrior! I have no time to be wasting in a place like this! Tell me, have you found the Mijo tribe? I'll go back to the save point again, and then... How did you attack Tsukiko Sagi? The first victim. You still haven't told us about her yet. At that time, Goma was... <gasps> The first attack was a hoax. Misagi staged it all. She made up the story about being the victim of an attack. You deluded yourself into thinking you were this non-existent street assailant's partner. In your own twisted mind, you are some kind of hero. Whatever kind of game you thought it was, you're not a chosen one at all. <sighs> I am. You can't do anything on your own. All you can do is imitate others. I have to save the world. You're nothing but a two-bit copycat. I'm a holy warrior! In short, you had your back against the wall and were looking for a way out. How nice it would be if someone could come along and solve all your problems. Who cares about that old fart when I'm the one suffering since I hit him? Then go and arrest the real assailant quickly! Because of this incident, Yuichi is now being bullied in school! To me, all of them look somewhat relieved after they were attacked. I'm very sorry to have troubled you to come here. Is there still something else? Well, thanks to your cooperation, Kozuko made a complete confession. However... The only ones I attacked are that fat kid and the middle-aged man. The rest wasn't me. It's true. I really didn't hit the other ones. <laughs> but... Do you mind if I ask you a question? I don't mean to offend you, but I... By any chance, were you being troubled by some personal issues before you were attacked? Maybe something made you feel... Emotionally cornered. Why would you ask me such a thing? It doesn't have to be directly related to the attack. Trouble. It can even be something you think is really small. Maybe your mom scolded you, or you forgot to do your homework. Mm. Trouble. Trouble. Oh, you don't have to start pushing yourself to remember. Thank you very much for your cooperation. What do you mean? I'm talking about Kozuka. Maybe a statement that he only attacked Ushiyama and Section Leader Hirokawa isn't a total lie. Section Leader Hirokawa aside, the point here is Ushiyama. He alone is different. Different? What do you mean? All of the victims had something in common. They were all under situations where they were very emotionally distraught. With Miss Sagi. Her case is different, isn't it? Miss Sagi was under pressure for the next design. Koazu was in severe debt. Yuichi was being bullied. Harumi Chono wouldn't tell me, but she did seem like she'd been troubled about something. 
But there was nothing in Ushiyama's case. He didn't have any personal problems when he was attacked. Hmm. What are you trying to say? Look. Let's say Kozuka attacked only Hirokawa and Ushiyama. Who attacked the others then? Hmm? Well, that's a... Uh... Besides, how the hell do you target someone on the verge of a nervous breakdown and then attack them just before they crack? It's impossible. No one could pull off a stunt like that, huh? Look, an investigation must be undertaken scientifically. Please tell me, what is your detective's instinct telling you now? My detective's instinct? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I ran out of that a long time ago. A series of attacks with no logical connection. A copycat who can't distinguish reality from a game? I've had enough. Hey, your food's getting cold. Hmm. What's the matter? He was here. Little slugger. I was really impressed by Little Slugger. He's still a kid, but he's so cool. So I thought, if, if I'm gonna do it anyway, then before that... What about Kawazu? Tell me, why did you attack him? Because you were following Tsukiko Sagi, right? Believe me, please. I saw about the attack on Mr. Kawazu. Then how did you attack Yuichi Taira and Harumi Chono, huh? I already told you many times. <gasps> it was you! It was all you're doing! You think you can just keep making fools of the police? Huh? <laughs> Detective. The ancient master. Take me to the ancient master. Is this everything we ordered? I wonder. Sorry to keep you waiting. Sauteed black swallowtail, sir. <laughs> Century. Make sure you keep your eyes wide open and observe carefully.
It's important. Are you aware of anything that's been tormenting your daughter's mind recently? Please help me. Mr. Hirakawa! Don't you get it? Mr. Hirakawa's daughter was also being troubled by something. She was feeling cornered. Little Slugger must have attacked her too. Listen, I checked out her cell phone records. The call with her father was cut off at 4.13 p.m. That's about the same time as when Sagi collapsed. In other words, they both called Lil Slugger at the same time, and that's why he appeared to both of them at the same time! He's one person, yet he's not. He can appear in front of anyone who's been driven into a corner, with nowhere to go anytime or anywhere. He's still at large. Little Slugger is still out there on the loose! Maniwa. <laughs> Get some rest. <laughs> Someone cornered. Someone cornered. If we can figure out the person who's been cornered, we can nab this kid. Yes, right now! Please, trust me! Just one more time! You have got to trust me this one last time! I can't, Chief. If anyone finds out, they'll dock my pay. They'll dock a lot more than just my pay. Go on, kid. It's your show. Maniwa. The Musashino South Police Station held a special press conference yesterday regarding the suicide of the boy suspected of being the serial street attacker who is being held in custody. The Metropolitan Police Department made a public apology for their negligence and also announced the resignation of the station head. A number of other police officers involved in the case are also expected to resign. With their departure and the death of the prime suspect, it is unlikely the case will ever reach the prosecutor's office. The man said he went through the wall. Too bad for the chief. Teaming up with Maniwa was his downfall, I say.
someone cornered. Someone cornered. If we can figure out the person who's been cornered, we can nab this kid. Where? Where's the cornered person? <laughs> To begin, the animal trail that goes far beyond. The one who can follow is the holy warrior. A seagull, a zebra, and a winter bee. There are no shadows of them wandering from place to place, sitting in a happy circle. Even dead branches add to the mountain scenery. Why do the crows cow? And then, 